You probably landed here because you're thinking about buying a home in Raleigh and you want to be in one of the most prestigious inside the Beltline neighborhoods. Well, I'm here today in Budley and this is one of my favorite locations. And I don't know if you can tell, but this house makes me happy. Now, this location is right in the middle of Raleigh, in the heart of everything. Whole Foods is down the street. North Hills, the best shopping center around, is five minutes away. But you get this. It feels peaceful. It feels like there's no one around. Now, I've got an incredible home that you've got to see. So let's go in and take a look. Gretchen Coley, founder of the Coley Group, and we all know that all houses aren't built equally, right? This one is crafted by DJF Builders, who's known for building homes of distinction, and the floor plan is designed by world-renowned Tony Frazier Home Designs. He is fantastic in creating functional spaces. Now, people walk through a home and they know it feels good but they don't often know why it feels good i want to take a minute and point out a few of those things for you number one finish details matter look at this gorgeous stone fireplace look at how tall it is scale is really important in a luxury home the next thing is the bookcases in this home are actually cabinet grade, full inlay. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that when we get into the kitchen, but these are more expensive to build this way. And then when you look at the bookcases, these are also cabinet grade bookcases. Um, they're finished out really, really well. Look at how they tie in to the crown molding that is in this room. It's really spectacular. Then you have the double sliders that open up to the porch, making this entire space feel very much indoor-outdoor. So as we move into the kitchen, there are so many key features that I want to point out in here. And you know, it's kind of crazy that we even have to point these out at an above $2 million price point. But things that are really important are the full inlay cabinet. A full inlay cabinet means that the cabinet doors and the drawers are inset inside of the cabinet. They're not on top of it. So this is more like a furniture piece. If you notice your dresser, your nightstands, usually the drawers go inside of the frame of the furniture. These cabinets are all full inlay. Now, I say this because I was in a $3 million parade house and a $4 million parade house in the past couple of weeks. Neither one of those had a full inlay cabinet. These are much more expensive, but they feel incredible. The other thing here that's important is the end details on cabinets. And I'll point those out over here so you can see them a little bit better. Look, it looks like there's a cabinet door. This is a finished cabinet. So this makes this, this kitchen really spectacular. And then you add in the range hood, which is also cabinet grade. You take the tile and carry it all the way to the ceiling. So instead of just having a half backsplash, you've got it all the way up to the ceiling. It just feels good when you combine it with a quartz countertop. Thermador appliances with the six burner range. Um, I love this island. I love that it is a darker wood stain, which we're seeing come back now, along with engineered floors. And look, you've got your dishwasher covered by a cabinet panel, which just helps finish everything off. So just standing in this kitchen and looking around, it just feels amazing. Light and windows are a big part of that. This kitchen has two windows in the kitchen and then your breakfast room, which is really an informal space, has windows all the way around it. They're all casement windows, no grids. So you visualize yourself feeling like you're outside. It's really what makes this house feel like a home. Now, as we get to the refrigerator, you have a built-in refrigerator with a cabinet panel on top of it. Again, not something you're seeing anywhere else inside the Beltline in this price point. And another feature about this house that people love is this large butler's pantry with soft closed drawers and uh, soft closed doors. This is a great place to store your china or your special pieces, your serving things. And then you've got your dining room right here but the scullery is really what steals the show with built-in full inlay cabinets below, stained um, shelves on top, and a microwave built-in. What a great place for family life. 
Now, in this formal dining space, you've got a little bit of wallpaper and a change in trim color. Those things might not, you think might not mean a lot, but they actually do. They actually set the tone of the room. And look at how large this space is. It's um, in addition to that massive breakfast room off the back of the house encapsulated by windows. Now, as we head into the foyer, there's a few things in here that I think are really important to note. Number one, you have um, really wide um, engineered hardwood floors. Now, these really set the tone for the house. You also have, look at how tall these baseboards are. And not only are they tall, but they have a, um, a shoe mold and they have a runner at the top or a bead at the top. This just helps make it feel a little bit more custom. And you're not gonna see that in our competitors' houses. Then look at the trim that is going around all your doors, your windows, your casement areas. And the other thing about this home that is really spectacular, that feels so good, the door hardware is all really, really high end. You also have solid core doors, which are fantastic. Now we could talk about lighting all day long in this house, but I want to focus on the stairwell because this stairwell has windows in it. it. You have iron rails and so much light comes in from this. So again, windows are filtering light into this home. Now upstairs is pretty remarkable. You've got a loft at the top of the stairs with bookcases and cabinets on the bottom, bookcases on top, a great place for all the family stuff and then extra room if you wanted to do a computer setup or something like that. Um, on each side of the hallway, you have two bedrooms every bedroom has access to a bath and vaulted ceilings and then on the back of the house is a gorgeous bonus room with bookcases on one entire wall just a great place to keep all the family stuff upstairs your powder room is right here at the bottom of the stairs it's got a pedestal sink with a marble top and a huge marble backsplash with your faucets coming out of the wall that is high end as well as beautiful sconces great lighting what a special room and now we move into the corridor where the garage enters into this is your mud room look at all of the space that you have here for shoes for backpacks for books whatever it is sports equipment and you have your garage entry door right there and also again there's another window so even this room has light and plenty of storage with a closet that you can put vacuums brooms all that good stuff in now, in the primary, this primary is so gorgeous. Look at the size of this primary. Tall ceilings. It feels so good in here because you have the trim details that we talked about, the custom millwork, high baseboards, windows that are looking out onto just a treed landscape. So it makes it very serene. This primary bath, it takes the cake. Just check out the double doors and look at how fancy these doorknobs are. This primary is just spectacular. Um, quartz countertops, large mirrors, sconces, gorgeous windows, and the shower's fantastic because the tile goes all the way to the ceiling and it's got two different patterns, two shower heads, gorgeous hardware that feels fantastic. I mean, look at the towel hooks. Every single detail in here is really well done. There's a linen closet and a water closet with high-end toilets. And then as you go into this closet, there's a space for a stackable washer and dryer in here. Now, who doesn't want that? Like, I wanna do my laundry in my closet, right? And then look at how the closet is finished. Gorgeous trim details metal bars. Again, you've still got your high moldings in here. This builder did not miss a beat with this house. It's just gorgeous. We've talked a lot about the inside, but we haven't talked about the outside. You know, this house is brick and fiber cement board and you can see there's a gorgeous fireplace out here that's brick painted brick uh, with a great stained mantle you can put your tv up there watch the game on saturdays and you've got a gas fireplace that is going to throw out so much heat this space is guaranteed to stay warm all winter 
Um, beautiful finished details all around this house. But what I love the most is that you're not going to be out here cutting grass on Saturdays and Sundays or clipping hedges. This yard is perfectly sized with sod in the front and the back an irrigation system, and it's got foundation shrubbery pretty much all the way around it. Now, that may not mean anything, but what it means is it looks like it's finished out. It's a new house that has a lot of outdoor character and plenty of space for you to do exactly what you want. Now, if this all looks fantastic to you and you are one of those people who is looking for a higher level of finish, a higher detail, and to be in an incredible location with great schools, we didn't even talk about that, the school districts here are one of the best in Raleigh then this could be the house for you right here in Budley. I would love to show it to you. You know, we get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you who are thinking about making a move somewhere in this Raleigh area and trying to figure out what's the best fit. You can get a personal showing from me personally just by reaching out to the contact details below. Feel free to call, text, email, and I will be right here in Budley to show you this spectacular home built by DJF Builders. We'll see you in Raleigh.